actually going to concentrate a little bit now on the ankles. We're gonna build our bodies from the ground up. If we get stronger through our hips, knees, and upper body, then our ankles are gonna to have to work really hard. So I'm gonna tell you how and why it's important for us to improve our ankles. The ankles, when they've got the ability to have angles and actually move in good directions, gives you the ability to be faster and just generally to be more efficient in the way that you move. If you think of somebody who's got a lot of mobility and movement through the ankle, they can then create force in the direction that they want to go. Whereas someone who doesn't has to go up and over. So they have to use more energy and they're slower going to where they want to go. Um, the angles, then you have the ability as well with the, your agility to move from side to side and make that movement fast. The Achilles is our most powerful tendon in the whole body. So we wanna get full access to that. If we don't have full range, then we're not gonna be able to use all the power coming out of that Achilles. The stopping ability, we need to be strong through the front. That gives us the ability to then stop. If we get really powerful through the Achilles, but we can't stop, then it's an issue and your body will break. We're gonna show you a couple of exercises now on how we are gonna build this up nice and strong. We're gonna start with the stopping muscles, so the ones at the front. That's our tibialis. Our goal is to get 25 of these. This is level one, or level zero, is to get 25 of these calf raises, or tibialis raises. Shoulders back, hips back, big lift. All the way up, all the way down. 25 without stopping. If you can't get that range, then you need to work on your mobility. If you can get it, but it starts to get tired after five, 10, 15, we've got to get them stronger. Then we're gonna flip around. This is another tibialis, but it's a deeper one. This one helps with our stability. So we're gonna place that ball just in between the heels. And then we're gonna go for our calf raises there. So you gotta squeeze that ball every rep. Cool, then our next one, we're gonna start getting into our calves. So this is our athletic calf raise. We've got two muscles in the, in the lower calf. We've got our gastro, gastronemius, and our soleus. The first one's gonna hit the big, bigger one up on top. Getting at an angle, get it at a full stretch, and then push all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. Again, this one's goal is 25. If you can't get the range, we're gonna work on the mobility. If you can't do the 25, we're gonna work on the strength. The next one now is going to go for the soleus, so down a little bit lower in the body. To hit that one, you've got to have a bent knee. So we're going to put the glutes on, bend the knees, try and get that mobility, and then push right up. You've got to keep the knees bent the whole time. If you don't feel it there yet, just find another position where you can keep the knees bent and adjust down. You should feel the burn down low. Again, we're going to go for 25. If you need to be this far from the wall, we probably need to work on our mobility. If it burns out and you can't get the 25, then we've got to work on our strength. Now the next one is, do we have access to our toes? Do we actually own our own toes? Have you got the ability to keep your feet down and lift the big toe? So all the other toes are down, can you just lift your big toe? That gives you access. These muscles aren't hugely strong. They don't do a lot, but they give you the ability to roll into that position. And the biggest one I do with our athletes is to push the pinky toe out. So you see that it actually opens up a transverse arch, arch in the bottom there, which allows us to roll into that position. Having that ability, then with the ability to get that shin forward, you can roll into that transverse arch and you can get a low shin, you can really start driving yourself and getting faster down the track or faster to the ball, whatever you need to do. We're gonna put out a few programs that are gonna help you either with your mobility or your strength on these. The first one I want you to try is to see if you can actually sit down on your heels, keep your heels together and sit comfortably in this position for 60 seconds. That's our first goal for today. Let me know how you do.